Hey everybody, my name is Scott Mahaffey, your favorite redheaded realtor, and welcome to Living in Brighton. Please do us a favor, like and subscribe, because every week we post new content on what it's like to live right here in Brighton, Colorado. And as always, we are licensed agents right here in the state of Colorado. So if you're thinking about making that move to Brighton, give us a call, give us a text any time of day at that number you see right here on the screen. We'd love to help you make that move to Brighton, Colorado and make your dreams become reality. Now, let's dive into the video. Well, there's just no other way to say this. It's all about the traffic. Brighton is bordered by two major highways. Well, one's a state route and it's more of an expressway than a highway but it runs north-south on the west side of town and you have I-76 to the east side of town which carries a lot of traffic through the area, mostly down into Denver. Now, also through town, there are two major roads that run east-west that carry most of the traffic that runs through town as well as on these two roads, you have most of the amenities that you're going to find within the city of Brighton. Now, you would think that this is a very large cause of traffic within the area, but on the contrary, it's not. The only time that you really run into traffic is when you're in a construction zone or you're sitting at a stoplight, or if you're outside of town, you may have to deal with a tractor or two. I mean, it may add a couple of minutes to your commute time, but it's the price we pay for living in a town like Brighton, Colorado. And next up is, you know, blending into the crowd and being anonymous. You see, Brighton is a very welcoming and family-oriented city. Many residents have lived here for multiple generations. That combined with the city and all of the community events that the city hosts make it absolutely impossible to remain anonymous. You will get to know your neighbor, you will make friends, and you will hate it here if you like being a stranger and be surrounded by strangers and loving the hustle and bustle of big city life. Next up is all of the distractions there seems to be outdoors. You see, the city of Brighton hosts over 1,100 acres of city parks and outdoor spaces for the community to enjoy. There is also 48 miles of paved and soft trails, two swimming pools, a rec center, 27 playgrounds and 20 athletic fields, all in a city of less than 50,000 people. Not to even mention, across the highway, we have Bar Lake State Park, where there's much more outdoor space and aquatic activities for you to enjoy. Now, if you're a person who likes to stay indoors, you will hate all of these outdoor distractions that will constantly be nagging at you. Real estate, you're gonna pay a premium to live in Brighton. Now, according to the latest data that we have, the national average for a single family home is $416,000. Now, like I said, when you look at Brighton, we're looking at $592,547,000 for a single family home. Now, when you compare Brighton to the national average, yep, we're substantially more expensive. But you, when you compare it to the Colorado average, you may be in for a big surprise. The current average cost of home in Colorado is $662,177,000. Now, this clearly shows that Brighton offers you more potential home, a nicer home, or, or maybe a newer home for your money. Once again, proving that Brighton, Colorado, when compared to the national average, is more expensive. Oh, yeah. 